Drill 92.3 LA Zone for hip hop, yeah. man. You already know the real after party bootleg cab, Dre Sinatra. We got Squad. a special guest, the homie Trippy Red in the building. Yeah. Yo, this guy, man, you, you out here moving, bro. What do you mean? For everybody who don't know who you are, man, give us a little kind of like a quick background of where you're from, you know, how long you've been doing this music thing and all of that. Uh, Nirvana. Of course. And just like, What is it about the Midwest? Because I always feel like the Midwest is like very slept on. There's definitely like, it's like a whole nother type of hood in the Midwest. I know Drake can kind of speak to this because he's on tour all the time with Ty Dolla Sign. But like, what is it about the Midwest that kind of, you know, it, it, it's almost like even, not necessarily not even in the music space, but when it comes to athletes, when it comes to professionals, like everybody out the Midwest kind of comes with a chip on their shoulder. I see it all the time. That's all I can say about that. I, I, how old were you when you started making music? Zan, ooh, Zan, yeah. It's depression. Like. You're like the next <laughs> it guy coming out the internet, man. Like my face be like that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So what kind of rock do you listen to? Like, I just can't, you know what I'm saying? Lil Wayne and Kanye. I don't know shit about Wu Tang. <laughs> I said, yeah. <laughs> From what I understand, you don't fuck with the lean at all, right? Chill the fuck out. Depression, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, that's pretty self-explanatory. You obviously, uh, a lot of people who first hear your shit, like you know, you get the the very uh, generic, typical that I'm sure you're tired of hearing a little Uzi comparison. Um, and I know that you know th there's been. Uh, I don't know if I want to say like any real issues between you and Uzi because I know Uzi said he actually fucks with your music, but there was like some questionable biting of swag either way. Uh, what's your like? What's your thoughts on Little Uzi? You guys like ever have any any dialogue or? I used to. That's all I can say about that. What do your parents think about the music thing, man? They they get get, get behind you 100 percent, supporting you. Like what would they think when you you know started to pop off a little bit? Do they know how like big you are now? Yeah. I just saw. Um, I forget who wrote the article about how your help kind of bringing back the emo in in music. Like, and I, I'm I don't not, know why they said that, bro. I'm not emo. <laughs> I've never been emo. I don't. Think that's why like I wanted that, to bro. ask you about that because that's like I think that's kind of a shitty like <laughs> label. Like emo, emo pretty rap. much means you're a depressed guy, and I don't think you're depressed. You seem pretty happy. I mean, I just I make a lot of different kinds of music i don't want to be dumbed down to a situation give give us your top three or four favorite mcs of all time man uh nirvana like, system of a don uh, marilyn manson lived down the street yeah you still do you, do you where do you like where's your like home for you right now like where are you living i'm from 14th street canton ohio that's all i can say about that Bro, fuck with me, you know what I'm saying? Uh, what are you doing in your spare time, man? Uh, you play f Madden, you watch fucking Netflix. I mean, obviously, you got a girlfriend, so you guys probably go on fucking dates and shit, but, like, what are you doing, like, you know, what are you, like, how's your how's your downtime spent, man, besides making music? Mm, bro. bro, fantasize about my girl. Okay, well, what's it like, man? I feel like if I was 18 years old and I was, like, a rap star, it would be really hard to have a girlfriend. I don't know yet. You don't know yet? What's your relationship like with XXX? Seems like a very interesting fellow, man. He's the original mumble rapper, is what we've kind of... Yeah, that's what we've said. You know, he kind of started mumbling on rap songs. Chill the fuck out. My mama, she was fucking with it. She, she cool with it. That's all I can say about that. <laughs> that shit is crazy. That's crazy. I mean, I just, I make a lot of different kinds of music. Microwavable music. Yeah. What do you think kind of sets yourself apart from, you know, I think you kind of get bunched into the SoundCloud rapper yes. uh, category. And I think that, you know, somebody who was also like that, you know, you're, you're the only feature on the XXX album. Um, but he kind of was bunched into that category. And his album came out and people were like, oh, shit, like his shit ain't nothing like, you know, all this other shit. What, what do you think separates you from the pack of, of all the other artists you're compared to? The Little Pumps and the XXXs and, you know, obviously all those other guys. My dad, he is street nigga, you know, you know, so... The music shit just was like, yeah, shit fire. You know what I'm saying? Depression. Like, what is the meaning behind the 14, man? Time. Chill the fuck out. <laughs> Zan, ooh, Zan, yeah. Depression. Like, I look like it. <laughs> Depression. Go out, sip and take. Hey, yo, what the fuck is up, you buttercup?